We are doing so many things, like we are called to so many things, to do so many things. We have to be also called to, to, to wake up to who we are. You know, if, you, if you're doing all these things, running after all these things, to try and fulfill all these projections, and to, to reach all the, these dreams, and so on, and you don't find yourself. I just say, this is madness, you know? This madness. And yes, it's a part of the dream, is madness. Madness is a big part of this dream. That you're running around, you put all this energy, all this dream, all these projections, all this fire for just transient things, you know. That they they burn up, you know. Nobody can reach back and bring anything from yesterday here. You know, nobody can do it, you know. It's only an impression like the clouds. They are passing. If this morning was a beautiful sunrise and the cloud, the sky was just, you know, heavenly, you know, it's gone. You, know, you can't put pause on it, it's gone. All of life experienced through the senses and the mind is like that. And the madness is that we don't seem to see that constantly. Reaching, reaching forward to fulfill the next projection. I was saying yesterday that life is only about now. The quality of your now, the quality of the consciousness that is your Self and Source, it's only about that. There is no such thing as tomorrow. No one has ever experienced tomorrow. Whatever we think tomorrow is, it has to be experienced in the now. And it is the quality of the now, how rich, how pure, how lived, how true is the now, that it becomes the fragrance of your presence. Of course, and when we, when we fill up the now with our projections about the... that also creates something inside the now, but more like anxiety and expectations and projections and dream gets infused in your nowness and it doesn't have any weight. It has more like <clears throat> a sense of displacement, of of waiting, frustration, projection. These are not real values, you know. But if you spend time with yourself, be rooted in <clears throat> that experiential understanding of what beingness, what beingness is, because the now has no history. Now has no history. It has no um, no biographies in, in it. It's not about what we have done and da 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 and. Um, it, it, it is just the, the purity of the, the 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 quintessence of all that is is in you, exude exuding itself, and its its qualities you may say is perfume, is peace, and love, and wisdom, and uh, harmony. That is the true fragrance of what we may call human expression. That that is it. Cannot be anxiety and hurry and haste and frustration and disappointment because that's what we will exude if you are not present in the now as the now. You know, it's only been in the now, not the now of time, not the now which is a break between the then and the was. You know, it's it's not a time quality. The now is eternal. It's timeless. How can people understand that? By the mind, it's not enough. It might give you a little sense, but in meditation, you come to now. In real prayer and surrender, you are surrendering into now, into nowness. And that's why you have to go to those people for. Um, Oh, 
for a taste of real life, you know, people who are anchored in their own peace, who are not uh, living in a projection about future or in reminiscing about past. They are just resting in their own awareness, their own beingness. They are the good examples in their life. And not just human beings. Most of the life on Earth you see, of the animals and the birds, the insects, they are just manifestations of the now in form. You know. Of course, they have activity. They do the activity, but they are not so attached to it. It's their activity is practical, restful, peaceful. Sometimes they have to hunt. They have to do, but they don't have the quality of anxiety that comes through expectations and projections. I don't think a lion is sitting in the in the jungle or in the forest thinking about next week. They don't have such days of the week like we have in our concept world. So if I could really get across this thing of now, the now beyond time and the here beyond place or geography is pointing only to the presence which I call the presence of God which is the true nature of human being, that thinking about future, planning future, is robbing yourself of the beauty and completeness of your nowness. Now is not concerned about future nor time. It is like it is like the it's like a taste of the eternal. Now is eternal actually. It never passes. Now never passes. It doesn't come. It's just here. When we remove or leave aside all this thing of the mind, you are here in the now. You know, and it's not boring. It's not stagnant. It's total completeness. That is the opportunity of a human birth. What supports the entire, the entire manifestations, all the galaxies? What supports them is the perfection of this. I'm using the word now. I can it. It can be a synonym also for harmony, for um, naturalness, for God, for life in its purest, uh, for essence for happiness, for existence. Now is the same word like love, or bliss, or joy, or silence, or wisdom of God, truth. They are all synonyms. One day, actually, if by God's grace we come to that understanding, you will see that every word that exists in your language is a synonym for God. <laughs> 